Hey there, uh, this is my version of a bicycle chain whip tool. It uses a piece of wood and your old bicycle chain. Okay, see there. I'm going to explain later how I came up with this design. Okay, in order to remove a cassette, you need a there a pre-wheel remover tool and a bicycle chain whip so I bought one uh, pre-wheel remover tool because I cannot fabricate one of these things I did not buy a chain whip because before I had some luck using only this tool and just a piece of rag or a piece of t-shirt to remove a, the cassette what I do is, I, I wrap the rug or the, t the piece of t-shirt onto the sprocket and then I use, okay, use that tool, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Whew. To unloosen that thing. Then recently, this method didn't work for me. Okay. The lock ring was too tight. Was put on too tight on my hybrid bike. No matter how how hard I hold on to the sprocket body, it just wouldn't come loose here. Okay, if you will see there. I shredded my t-shirt there when I tried to do that method with the hybrid and uh, at that point I realized I this is not the only tool I need I need the chain whip too so I tried looking uh, for a chain whip now it looks like and if I can make one yes it looks simple enough I even tried looking at YouTube if, if somebody can or if somebody has a how to make a chain whip what I notice about most of the chain whip design is it involves a piece of flat bar and two pieces of chain attached to the to the plot bar. This is an example of uh, a tool made by Park Tool, and another one. I saw this design. It's similar to the chain whip uh, made by the, most of the manufacturers. It involves a piece of plot bar, a piece of chain, and another piece of chain, a longer chain. So I went back at the, I went back and tried to find a piece of flat bar because I have a chain, I don't have the flat bar. So I can make this too. Okay, but I can't find a flat bar. What I found is yeah, this one. See there. It's a piece of wood with two chains, the one chain and then this chain. Similar to the design of the most of the chain whip in the market. Looking at the design, I try mi mimicking this or I try copying this using a piece of wood and uh, two pieces of chain. But I don't like to cut the chain so I'm going to make it one piece a one piece uh, a one piece long chain what I did was I got the wood the piece of wood it's a one by two I, I nailed I nailed three nails there exactly and then I tried mimicking one there yeah, yeah there Place 
is this part here then over this one there okay that is basically my first design so I don't want to cut my chain it's my old chain okay since I don't want to cut it and and mimic or, or, or copy that design which involves cutting that thing and then attaching this one there made this one okay this part here mimics this part and this part mimics and this this is the one that okay this is the one you can see in my other video how this design failed okay how I use it was okay, I, I place the tool over to the sprocket have that part there uh, hold on to the sprocket and then use this part here so that it will be secured so the sprocket will be secured there there okay. the problem with this design the force exerted by the chain onto the nail made the nail bend so the, the sprocket didn't budge yeah i was uh, thinking to, of replacing the nails with screws as like the the one the design it was featured in the internet but i don't have any screws going back to my design okay I was thinking what can I do to prevent the nails from bending that way okay. if the chain was exerting force that way what can I do to make it stay there and or counteract that force then after a while I realized the solution was simple there that is my piece of wood then chain okay so my sprocket then secure it with a chain then this chain then hold in this tight there then and secure it there 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 see that That's basically it. Here, I sold uh, the the nails bending because this chain exerts the force going in that direction, and this chain, like that, this chain, exerts the force going that direction. So it counteracts each other. Okay, 
we don't need the chain there the part there the part there where where there should be a chain because the teeth of the sprocket digs onto the onto the wood so it doesn't move the beauty with this design is or this design or this setup is all I only need a piece of wood I don't have to cut the chain there and I only have to secure maybe one or two or three the most uh, most of a nail just to keep the chain from moving there okay and with this design and with this design because of the adjustability of the chain there I can use any size of cogs be it a 32 or be it a 42 yeah I just can there and then only it can be adjusted Okay, so there you go. That's my version of a bicycle chain whip tool. If you find this useful, please give me a thumbs up. Now, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.